No matter what life throws at you, it's important to remember that there's always someone having a worse day than you. From catastrophic cock-ups to total worst case scenarios, here are some friendly reminders that, hey, it isn't all that bad. Sometimes curiosity gets the better of us, and this teen learned the hard way that just because something looks like a perfect fit, doesn't mean it is. Poor Sabrina popped her finger through a park table while hanging out with friends and quickly realized her mistake. It definitely wasn't coming out again. Her friends tried everything from lotion and ice to pure brute force, but eventually 911 was called and the table had to be cut apart. With the finger still in it, one broken and bruised digit later, Sabrina was finally free. This image is pretty much every homeowner's worst nightmare. Imagine hearing a monumental crash in the middle of the night and rushing to the kitchen to confront your intruder, only to discover something far worse. The cupboards have detached themselves from the wall, sending your best cutlery crashing to the ground. The cost of this cleanup operation probably amounts to a burglary, and where would you even start? You can probably tell by the expression on this man's face that legal proceedings haven't gone too swimmingly. Mr. Salem was arrested in 2014 for assaulting a police officer after stealing a coat, and he spent five months at Rikers Island Jail blissfully unaware that his bail status had been reduced to just $1. Initially, bail was set at $25,000, but after prosecutors failed to get an official indictment, his release was ordered. Only his legal aid failed to tell him. Unsurprisingly, Salem is now suing the city and his attorneys for wasted time. Allergy tests can be helpful, but no one expects to end up looking like this unlucky girl by the end of it. According to her sister, the girl was allergic to everything she tested for, the worst of which was a nasty reaction to horses. It may not have been the result she hoped for, but hopefully this will be her first and only rodeo. Irony is oh so sweet, and this photo has it in spades. It's not often that the emergency services are the ones dialing 911 but this unlucky situation happened in 2016 when 12 Kansas City police officers were rescued from an elevator by the neighboring Kansas City Fire Department. The elevator installed within the police academy and the highly amused firefighters called to the job just couldn't resist snapping a photo of the historic moment. Imagine you're going about your day when the unthinkable happens. A porcupine drops out of the sky and lands on your head. Sounds like something from a cartoon, but one unlucky woman made it a reality. Brazilian housewife Sandra Nabucco ended up with 200 spines embedded in her scalp after a porcupine fell from a telephone wire while she was out dog walking. It could be worse though. Just look at this guy who got a face full of quills after sticking his head into a hole in a tree. Maybe he had it coming though. Home delivery services aren't always up to scratch, especially when you're not around to oversee the safe arrival of your long-awaited parcel. Thankfully, the option to leave the parcel in a safe place can be a saving grace but not so much when that place ends up being the toilet bowl. One unlucky man was shocked to discover his printer ink delivery in the toilet along with an apologetic note from the delivery guy confessing that he thinks it might have fallen in accidentally. At least he's honest. Most of us have witnessed the embarrassing moment a breakable item is dropped at the supermarket causing a commotion among nosy shoppers. And some of you might have even committed the act yourself. A few apologies and one disgruntled cleanup operation later and the damage is usually forgotten about. But I'm not sure the same can be said for a catastrophe as big as this one. This monumental cooking oil spill would be one slippery scenario, but it can be quite as bad as the cost of this red wine disaster. Not to mention the smell. Everybody screws up at work sometimes, and usually small mistakes are easily forgiven but I'm willing to bet the driver of this forklift didn't need to clock in in the morning after this disaster, mostly because he was probably in the hospital. He must have misjudged the gap in the path ahead and he ended up colliding with the crates of beer instead, sending the huge structure crashing down. To make matters worse, a resulting domino effect eventually wiped out the entire factory floor, burying the forklift. It's impossible to know when a natural disaster might strike, and several car owners in Florence learned that the hard way when they left their cars in designated parking bays. The stretch of city street running up to the Ponte Vecchio Bridge totally collapsed in 2016 after a major water pipe below the surface gave way, sinking around 20 cars parked along it. A crane had to remove the waterlogged cars from the chasm, no doubt ruining the days of their unlucky owners. 
I can only imagine the devastation felt by the driver of this car, who probably rushed home to devour a pint of chocolate ice cream, only to discover the unthinkable had happened. I'm not sure what the best way to approach the recovery would be, but the sweet bounty is probably beyond salvation. This image speaks for itself as far as bad days are concerned. What could be worse than having a shed load of cement accidentally dumped on the bonnet of your shiny bar car? The fallout of this slip up must have been pretty heated, but I'm sure the bonnet and the paintwork beneath would be beyond repair. When you're appearing on national TV, it's probably best you know far enough in advance to prepare, or at least to put on some trousers first. This poor guy is national security expert Jack Tamarchio, who was called to speak on ABC News while out running errands. Tamarchio told the crew he didn't have a full suit in his car and was reassured that he would only be filmed from the waist up. But I guess someone told a little white lie. Everyone has heard the age-old excuse, the dog ate my homework. But more often than not, our canine companions are not all that fond of chomping down on tricky algebra assignments. To the horror of one student though, this childhood myth came true at the wrong time when she discovered that her dog had eaten her official PhD certificate. Sometimes in life, you've gotta take risks to get where you wanna be. And for one couple in Colorado, that meant quitting their jobs and selling all their possessions to purchase a sailboat which would take them around the world. Nikki Walsh and her boyfriend Tanner Broadwell, alongside their dog Remy, set sail in 2018 with just $90 in cash and a dream. But that all came crashing down when their boat capsized just two days into the trip. The 28-foot boat sank when they accidentally entered the wrong channel, and although the couple admit they are new to sailing, they still intend to try again with a new boat. For most guys, this is a pretty confusing sight, but these bizarre skin markings are actually the result of a combination of a spray tan and a really bad day. 17-year-old Skylar Davis posted this photo in 2016 to warn girls of the pitfalls of getting into a tiff with your boyfriend moments after hitting the salon for a top-up ahead of prom. Apparently, there's a crucial four-hour window when the fresh tan cannot come into contact with water of any kind, which rules out swimming, working out, and most definitely, crying. Nothing beats the excitement of buying a new house and dreaming of its untapped potential in the lead up to the big move, but one family in Montana got a nasty surprise when they turned up to their newly built house to find this. A local cattle rancher had reported stolen cows and was unaware that four of the missing animals had found their way into the nearby property after a storm blew the door open. One of the family members had gone to move the couch into the house when they were faced with total chaos. The cows had been living there for a month and the whole place was riddled with poo. Sometimes it seems like luck just isn't on your side, and nothing could be more unfortunate than this story of bad fortune. Not only did someone drive away after managing to crash into this guy's parked car, but the impact of the collision pushed the car up onto the sidewalk where the vehicle was awarded a ticket for improper parking. This is not what you want to find after a long day at work. A single facial expression can speak a thousand words. And this girl is definitely communicating just how done she is with her shift at Home Depot. Who knows how this chaos unfolded? Whether she was reaching the tub for a customer or some freak explosion occurred, but one thing's for sure, this mistake is gonna last. According to Redditors, the unsightly yellow paint is actually a super concentrated colorant known as tint, which can permanently stain skin and clothes. So for Megan, the nightmare has only just begun. In January 2018, Anastasia Gruzdev went viral after posting an eye-catching selfie of her frozen eyelashes in negative 40 degrees Celsius temperatures in harsh Siberia. As if that wasn't freaky enough though, the 25-year-old made headlines again six months later when she posted this horrifying photo of herself covered in blood-sucking mosquitoes. These crazy extremes are quite typical in some parts of Siberia where summer temperatures can hit above 60 degrees Celsius. So perhaps this is just a normal day for her after all. If you're having a bad day, just remember, there's no use crying over spilled milk. Unless you're this guy. This disaster could be used for good if a nearby cat shelter was prepared to open its doors for the most efficient cleanup act possible. But alas, I don't know exactly what happened here, but the likelihood is someone's getting fired for it. Milk is also the perpetrator behind this next unbelievable accident, which unfolded in the Ukraine in 2018. CCTV footage shows a milk tanker spiraling out of control after hitting a pothole, which causes it to flip over, spilling milk all over the road before the vehicle burst into flames in a traumatic turn of events. Thankfully, the driver managed to scramble free before suffering any life-threatening injuries, but the milk was beyond salvation. 
Plenty of us have hidden something from our parents at some point, but this unlucky college student got busted in the most hilarious way. 20-year-old Sidney Allen was diagnosed with syringomyelia, or extra fluid on the spine, and was due for a checkup at the hospital. But she hadn't considered one crucial thing when her x-rays came back. Her mother was not amused to discover her secret nipple piercings. But the pair laughed it off when the photo went viral online. What horrific accident could have occurred to turn this normal looking guy into this? Did his brain just get super buff one day? Is it Jimmy Neutron cosplay gone too far? Unfortunately, the truth is not so exciting. This poor man suffered an allergic reaction to DIY hair dye, which caused his head to progressively swell like a hammerhead shark. Maybe next time the salon would be a better option. And if you're gonna do it yourself, at least read the box properly first. Tons of viral challenges have cropped up over the years asking us to do all sorts of things, like dump ice on our heads and plump our lips to extreme sizes. But the corn on the drill challenge really takes the cake. Lu Zhao from Beijing's attempt to eat corn from an automated drill earned her viral fame for all the wrong reasons when it went horrendously wrong on camera. Seconds in, Zhao's hair gets caught in the drill and it's all downhill from there as the force rips out a huge chunk of hair from her scalp, which she looks surprisingly calm about. The teen was told her hair would grow back, but it would take six months. I bet that's the last time she eats veg at dangerously high speeds. Have you had a worse day than any of these unfortunate souls? Tell me about your horror stories in the comments down below, and thanks for watching.